All right, so what I've got is um, Snapchat installed on my device, and I've logged in. So I'll go uh, over a general uh, overview of the interface and then uh, usage for business. Uh, so the thing about Snapchat is that for a long time, it uh, its interface you you couldn't tell what things did. Uh, now they've added, for example, even simple things such as labels, text that sort of explains what the icon is. So before they had this text here, you had this little speech bubble, which is friends, which is friends. Over here, there was a weird icon that no one knew what it meant when you first logged in. Now it's discover. Uh, oh, what's that big circle right there? <coughs> it doesn't make any sense until you try it. The big circle is that's what you press uh, to take a photo. So that's the shutter release button. That's the button that you use to take a photo. <coughs> so right there, I took a photo. <coughs> right, so that sort of like Instagram, there's a big button, but I think in Instagram it's red, maybe. And you press it and it takes a photo, or if you press and hold it, it takes a video. So then right now, I'm recording a video, and the video is not that long, it's probably like 10 seconds, but what I'm doing there, it's recording a video. Uh, that was 10 seconds, and it created one and another, and it's two videos linked together. really hear it but uh, so I recorded two videos <coughs> and um, I have the icon here to load up the photos that are in the device I won't quite click on that one but you get the idea you can click on that and look at the photos on the device to pick to upload um, we've got also at the top over here uh, this icon what, what do you think this one means the selfie camera, flip it around and such, so you can press that and it flips around, and then so right there I can take a photo. So I took a photo of myself. Now, uh, again, um, there are these icons on the side here that might make sense of what to do, but then there's this whole like hidden world of Snapchat filters by swiping over. Um, so I swiped over and the filter your tape. Kanye's been tweeting some deep thoughts. So, okay, I'm gonna attach this little bit of text to my photo if I want. So I begin, what else is there? Okay, I've got the It's Friday sticker. Uh, swipe over. Uh, KFC Pride in Fried. Okay, so KFC paid some amount of millions of dollars to uh, put their filter that is only available for uh, 24 hours. Uh, to get people uh, to use the filter, free publicity for KFC. What else? Okay, we're in Sarah Mesa. It knows I'm in Sarah Mesa, so I can attach the location there. Another Sarah Mesa, another Sarah Mesa, Friday. San Diego Continuing Education North City Campus. So I can attach that to show that I'm, that I'm here. I can do a very artistic black and white filter, or a, an artistic um, color-shifted picture. <coughs> Is this all the filters you saved? Nope. These are all of the ones that are currently available for everyone to use at this location. Now, that doesn't mean that San Diego Continuing Education, that doesn't mean that we actually, the college, bought a filter. Uh, sometimes it kind of just randomly tells you a location that you're at. If that location exists on you know, Google Maps and such, it could attach itself to there. Obviously, it's very basic. If we wanted it to have books and pencils and all of that, the college would have to pay for that filter to be usable. Okay, let me let me try that one more time. Let me go back. Uh, let's say that um, I've got these other icons on the side. Do you see all of these here? Some of them make sense, perhaps. Some of them don't. What do you think that T means? Text. You can add text. To the photo. First of all, what what does this thing supposed to look like? The second icon. Paperclip, Paper clip. perhaps, but 
No. What's that? No. No attachment. No. Paperclip is down here. This one is a pencil so that you can draw on your. Pencil. It's a pencil. So that you can draw on your photo. Okay, what's this next one here? <laughs> post-it note. Post note. I think I heard someone say you are correct. So, post-it note. You can put stickers on your photo. Okay, what's this? Crop. Crop. That would be a good uh, a good choice. But no, it's scissors. And the way it works is you you won't you won't believe it. But I'll show that in a moment. Okay. And then yes, favorite clip there. So that one you can attach. Now, what would you attach to a photo? Another photo. Another photo. Well, in a different way with stories. This is for you to attach a link. You can link your snap to a website and such. So someone sees your amazing photo, they can then follow a link. And at the moment, I don't know what the stopwatch is yet. I don't remember seeing it the last time I used it, but probably some sort of animation. Because there's a stopwatch of time with a little infinity symbol. Something probably loops over and over. It's probably what that is. So, just to play with these a little bit, I press the um, I press the T, and then I get um, some built-in ways to write stuff. So, okay, I'm gonna write my name, and then I'm gonna choose the effect of that one that's built in, or this one, or this one. So there's all of these that are built in, which then I can also uh, change the color with that slider. So then I've got right there. So that's one thing I can do there. Um, I can um, add more than one text. OK. So um, the pencil, that's what that is. I can, I can draw. I have undo button, different colors. I also have um, different, at the moment, hearts. So I can add hearts. Okay. Stickers. Uh, so here are oh, there's the infamous uh, speed filter. Um, or not filter, but sticker. So here's some other ones loading up. It's a little slow, but it's going to load up these little stickers that you can attach to your photo. So, again, all of these particular things to add, and then I can make them big and small and rotate them. So we can see here, you can spend a lot of time on crafting your masterpiece. Um, yes? How do you, so after you've done all that, you're like, now I want to take a few out. I'm trying to... It depends on what it is. Um, for example, the, this little sticker, if you tap and hold it, you will then get a trash can. See how oh, that trash can appears right there? So it varies depending on what um, what you what, what you attached, what you added, yeah. So like, Victor and Cool, would you do the same thing? or would... On that one, I can move it, and then to delete it, I have to go in and backspace it out. Okay, so it does vary depending on yeah. what you So on those, I have to go in and remove the text. Now these that I, those hearts there were from the drawing tool. Um, I can't remove those because I already went too far. I should have und undone it, undid it. Uh, so that one, those I can't remove. So once you've gone to another step, then that the hearts are not at all at this point. You can't back space to get those out. Yeah, exactly. In that case, yeah. Um, so again, uh, oops, the link. That attachment link. Uh, I clicked on the little link. 
if I had something that I had copied in the clipboard, which is most common on a device, I copied an address, it's in the clipboard of the device, it would recognize that I've got something in the clipboard. If not, I can type the address there. So then it would um, attach a, uh, a website, any website. So the idea here, the idea here is that um, I'm going to attach the college's homepage to the snap. So someone views this amazing product that I'm selling, and then there's an attachment linked to it that I can have people follow the link to the product. Um, this last one. Oh, okay, yes, this is the one where how long is the um, is the photo going to be visible? before it goes on to the next photo. So obviously a person using Snapchat is going to have no qualms at putting 10 photos at once. Check out this, check out this, check out that. So I can put with that little timer there, how long is the photo going to be visible until the next photo is visible? So the default looks like now it says no limit. It used to be at 10 seconds, but it says no limit. So a person can look at it as long as they want. Within the 24 hours, then it all disappears. Uh, if I had it down here on seven seconds, look at this photo for seven seconds because here comes another one. So you can set that time. I'm going to cancel all of that to try it again. Because what I can do instead of taking the photo, I can tap and hold on my face. It will then scan my face and see that there is a that there is a human face there, and then it'll give me these other extra filters. This is how you can get. Oh, here it is. This is how you get uh, these different filters. So it recognizes that there's a face here. These new filters appeared at the bottom. I have to load up, and my connection's a little slow here, but here it comes. Actually, then it crashed. Okay, well, you can't see it, but now I've got flowers floating around my head. Uh, let me see if I can reconnect here. Yeah, I found on my phone that Snapchat uses a lot of memory, and when I try to then use my capture app, it often hiccups. Try that again. Go back to Snapchat. Um, so these are. This is um, pretty unique. One of their big unique things was this that it recognizes there's a face. So that then what I can do is add these sort of animated filters. So there you go. I've got some really cool ears and a nose and such. Go over here. Crashed again. The, cute, the cuteness crashed it again. So. Yes. So when you split that, that's good to get Because I'll see pictures, my niece will post Snapchat photos, and that kind of stuff. My niece looks so nice. She has long eyelashes and all that. And she's a cute girl, but it just looks filtered, like touch up. So, is, and your face turned into a cute little. <laughs> Long eyelashes. Weasel? <laughs> so does it have those features built in already, and that's why it pops up that way? Yeah, there's uh, filters in here somewhere um, Yeah, that are supposed to beautify you and such. There you go. <laughs> so, so there are filters in there that, um, that are all about that. I, I don't think I'll be able to fully show them. I think they're just crashing my system here. But uh, you get the idea there that you have. Um, this lots was of, lots of time killers to play with. <laughs> yes, and they are their own genre. I've seen so many photos out there of so many people, even celebrities, that have these dog ears or cat ears, and, and they open their mouth in a in a 
a huge tongue comes out or rainbows out of their eyes. Well, all of those things that are really kind of over the top, they usually originated at Snapchat. Instagram is starting to borrow those ideas now. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, Snapchat um, has ori originated some of these interesting things, and yes, the other networks have ripped them off, especially uh, Instagram, because Instagram is owned by um, Facebook, and Facebook itself is also a publicly traded corporation that needs to continue to um, uh, appease their uh, shareholders, so they need to go into all markets. In this market of Snapchat users, is one they want to get into. So Instagram has similar things. But they don't have as much as Snapchat. I don't think so. I think the, one of the things they're uh, uh, innovating all the time is trying to put new, yeah. fun, weird things. So when you create a snap, when you take a photo, you can add color filters, location filters, lenses, those are what those, those that we saw that of the little dog ears and the weasel face and all of that, those are lenses. So uh, color filters, um, lenses, the animated avatar things. Filters are are simpler, they're usually not animated, but the lenses are the ones that are that are animated, that it can scan you and, and change your face and add glasses and a funny hat. So when I taught this, when I teach this class, and depending on the time of the year, there's different filters. I hadn't seen that little pink uh, ear, big eyes one yet. Other times there have been like some cool glasses with stars reflecting on them and all of that. And then in the fall, there's more like fall colors You can uh, add text, drawings, um, stickers, links, and cutout. I hadn't shown cutout. Let me show you cutout. Uh, so cutout is this uh, little scissors. Uh, the way cutout works is it makes copies of what's on the screen. So if I select cutout, outline an object with your finger, then release to make a sticker. So what you do here is you you go around some something in the in the design, and uh, what that does now is it it's like a copy and paste, and now I've got here a copy of my eyes, which then I can resize. So there you go, you've heard of having a chip on your shoulder, well what about a face on your shoulder? So I copied my face and then I made a copy of it and um, got a copy of it. You created that with those scissors? No. That's what the scissors did, yes. So doing that again, um, so let's say just my mouth. It's going to see my mouth and then there, so I have a lot to say today. So uh, it's just a copy of uh, what you see on the screen, and maybe you can clone a person to show them multiple times. So that's the cutout. Make a copy of what's in the photo. Okay, so the other stuff um, you uh, you can play with, but okay, let's say um, I'm gonna take a photo. I'm gonna keep it very simple. I'm gonna take a photo. I'm gonna add just a quick filter, Friday. Okay, well, what do you do with this? Is at the bottom here, save story, send to. Send to is that you will do the private messaging, that you're going to send it to one, or I think now up to 15 people.
people that you are connected with on Snapchat. They need to have a Snapchat account for that to work. So let's break each of these down. After perfecting your Snap, you then either send to, which is send, I think it's up to 15, send privately up to 15 people. For a business, a great way to communicate one on one with a customer. So think in terms of, I've got Victor's Bakery down on Main Street. I have advertisements throughout my business. Follow us on Snapchat. You get a free cookie. Okay. Well, we're connected on Snapchat. I've got them. Captive audience. So I'm going to be snapping at the business, taking photos of the products, and then I can send it directly to the customers. Yes, on the one hand, it's obvious advertising. So on the one hand, it could be intrusive, like you're, you're sending me this stuff, uh, why? But if your audience is, is amenable to it, that's advertising going directly to a, uh, a customer that might actually then would like it or want to buy it or, or be interested in it. So after making a friend of a customer, you can mark it directly. Worst case scenario, then they unfriend you. Neutral scenario, nothing happens. They saw your photo, great job, thumbs up. Best scenario, they follow the link you attached on the photo to buy the product or they buy the product in real life, if it's a real life product. So again, worst case scenario. I guess worstest case scenario is that they report you for abuse or spam or something. But I don't think that's a very common thing, especially if you are connected to your audience that would care about your product and you make a great photo and you put a fun filter or a nice quip on it or a cat ears or something. Right? If you are trying to reach the right audience, they shouldn't be upset that you are communicating with them, especially on a product that they might care about. We've also then got save. Makes a copy of the snap, which is a photo, video, whatever, to your camera. Then you can share that anywhere else. After you've taken that photo, uh, filtered it, made it perfect, and you click save, it's part of your phone's camera roll now, which then you can load it up in. Um, wow, Snapchat's making my phone pretty hot here. It's funny. Um, after you save it to your camera roll, then you can send it to Facebook. You can send it as an attachment on an email. You can text it. You can send it through WhatsApp or, or Viber or whatever. Uh, if you don't remember to do this save, you're going to lose it. It's fine to save it and also send it to friends or do the third option, story. So one of the things I would do right away when you're creating your snaps is remember to click Save. Remember to save a copy for yourself, or it'll be gone in 24 hours. Then after that, decide one of these two, which these you can also do these two. You can do them all, one or all. Um, you might not do Send To very often if you don't have a lot of connections yet. Uh, because that, that, that's to friends or customers. Story is a public, can we say it like a public place where everyone or anyone could see your snaps. We saw on, uh, when we looked at the map on the website, the heat map, 
we saw that like down the street at the school, there's a lot of activity of people using Snapchat there. I didn't see any that were public, that were being shared. That's how these become public, when someone sends it to the story. Um, if you simply send it to friends and family privately, it shows up on the heat map, but you don't see what it is because it was sent privately. For a business, you usually want to use that one. Use this one. It's how you can be discovered by potential customers. We will see the discover screen in a moment to see what that means. Yes? So you only can connect with your contacts? Yes, you cannot unsolicited, unsol unsolicitedly so send. I just sent an email, but he's not in front of my contacts. So you only yeah, that's what it's trying to be about the so, privacy. That's what you're trying to be about the privacy, that you can't just spam it to everyone if you know their email. You have to have the connection. So if you're doing business, you have to have all the business contacts that you want to, you want to send it to first. Yep, you have to be connected already first on the Snapchat account, and then you can connect, and then you can send it to them. Uh, so, save and story are 24 hours, then they're gone. I think they're adding something to make it a little bit more permanent because Instagram borrowed their story thing a few years ago. It was the exact same thing. They even called it stories. So we looked at Instagram first, and then if we think story, hey, I, I, that sounds familiar. Well, we looked at Instagram first because it's a bigger network, more powerful, but Snapchat did it first. So when you see stories on Instagram, Snapchat had it first. But uh, what I don't think Snapchat has done it yet. What Instagram is doing is that you can make a story permanent. Whereas uh, traditionally here, things that you do to send to, oh, that's not save. Uh, send to, your save is permanent. Sorry, save is permanent because it, it's saved to your camera roll permanently. Send to and story, those are the ones that last the 24 hours. If a person didn't see your story in 24 hours, it's gone. And that's part of what its unique selling proposition or its allure was. We're connected, we're friends, check out what I did because it's going to be gone and something new will be here tomorrow. And it's like the constant, uh, uh, you know, the studies have shown how all of these social networks, you know, they are somewhat like a drug in that when something positive happens, you get a little burst in your head of some chemical of positivity. And then when another, you get another like, you get another little burst. You know, it's just like real life. When you're doing that sweet heroin, you know, you want to keep doing it because you keep feeling good. Well, you do these, you get on these networks because you feel good that you got a like, you got a reply, you got a follow. I didn't get one today. What do I, what can I do to get a like? Because I want that endorphin or whatever chemical in our mind. So uh, the 24-hour thing is to be in the know. Or um, capitalizes capitalizes on FOMO. Do you know what FOMO is? Fear of missing out. <laughs> so what my friends are active on, on Snapchat and Instagram, and what about me? My life is so boring. I'm going to look at their snaps. Or I don't want to miss anything. They had a cool party. I couldn't go to it. I've got to keep up to date with them. So as a business, we can capitalize on that. Um, by ha if, our, if our product makes sense for the demographic, uh, we, uh, we get followers. And, you know, again, let's say I'm a... I'm a coffee shop. Well, I'm going to be showing amazing photos of my coffee um, and lattes and, and, and the, uh, bagels and such. And I'm going to be putting that out on a regular basis. And if, if you miss it, it's gone. But maybe it's in your mind enough to go to the coffee shop and buy or to the website and such. You're not actually sending this to their email. You're sending this to their Snapchat account. It's just the question was that um, is it sending to another person's email? Not really to their email. It's to their Snapchat account. So if you're connected, you need an email to create a Snapchat account. But it doesn't send this to their email. No, it just sends it to their 
inbox in Snapchat. And then how distribute to your customers or your email? You need to be, it, it, won't, it won't go to an email list. Uh, you need to be connected with your customers in Snapchat. Then when you click send right here, it will pop up to show you all of your connections. So here's who I've been connected with. If your customers are connected with you as friends on Snapchat, then they will show up here. But it won't send out an email to them. They will see it in the inbox, in their inbox of Snapchat. It's like Facebook Yeah, you have to have the... Do you invite them? Yeah. Somehow you have to, somehow you have to invite them to Snapchat. Now, like I was saying, let's say I've got a business and I've got a poster on the wall. Uh, follow us on Snapchat for a free cookie. So if you try to convince people in the real world to follow you on Snapchat somehow, then you're connected here, and then you can do that where you send to the customers. So does Snapchat assess your contact list? I yes, I think if you agree to it, uh, when you download the app and install it, it will pop up to ask you, would you like us to access your contacts? If you say yes, the point of that is it will check, oh, your seven friends are on Snapchat, why don't you connect? If you say no to that, you won't know who's on Snapchat until you try to get them connected. So when I people... Downloaded it, it did not ask that. Yeah. Didn't ask it? Um, yes. Sorry, sir. No, exactly. I think some of those that are more made for chat, like like Viber and WhatsApp, those you usually cannot skip because the whole point is you're going to get on Viber to chat with people. So of course it wants to connect with your address book because that's how you're going to chat with people. But a lot of these networks, they either ask permission or some of them now just assume you want the connection and then it will connect with your address book. And usually Usually there's a way then to disconnect if you don't want that. But that's again the thing about we're trying to figure out this privacy issues. A lot of us care a lot about, well, I don't want it to track me. I don't know, want it to know about me. A lot of people don't know that that's going on. And I think that's a little naive nowadays. And then I think a lot of people don't care. They're like, I have nothing to hide. I'm an upstanding citizen. I have nothing to hide. That's not the point of privacy, that you have nothing to hide. It's that we have all the privacy uh, that we deserve as people and citizens and all of that. So it's something that's still being figured out. But as businesses, there's pros and cons. OK, so if I then choose story, I'll click on story right there. Uh, and then this here, uh, you have the option my story, our story. Um, this changes depending on your location. Depending on your location, there may be like a community story. Um, here it's called Our Story. I've seen it called San Diego Story, depending on different places that I'm at in San Diego. So my story is a place that I can make it public to all my connections. Let's say I've got 100 connections on Snapchat. When I had that send to, I can only send it to 15. But if I put it on my story, all of those 100 people could see it, even if I didn't send it to them directly. Whereas our story is the one that is completely public to everyone. And it tells you even here. I'm going to put it on our story. Submit here to share with the world. Your snap could appear in this location, in this physical location in the world, on the map, and in search results and stories on, a, on or off Snapchat, today or in the future. So there's a big disclaimer that tells you, if you put this public, it's going to be public. It could be anyone, anywhere, ever, at any time could see this. So again, um, completely open. And if that's fine, that's fine. For a business, it should be fine. I want anyone to find my funny snap about my product 
anywhere at any time. Even if it disappears in 24 hours and such, there is some sort of a remnant that you were active, like on the map, and that sort of thing. So for a business, that's fine. Story. My story. Our story. Only your connections can see. Our story. Everyone can see. Often based on location. Um, someone creates a public story. Let's say there's an event, like San Diego Comic Con. Um, you, uh, in, in a, a, a public story was created perhaps by the Comic Con organizers. And when you go to Comic Con, you take these snaps of the celebrities you see or the comics you buy. And then uh, you go to share it to the story. So everyone that's on Snapchat could see it at that location at Comic Con on those days. For a business, well, maybe I'm not gonna, maybe, maybe I don't wanna go to Comic Con, but I've got a product where I can, where I can walk in front of the convention center. That, that's free. It's, it costs money to get into Comic Con, but if you walk along the area of Harbor Drive, I've got this business. I can go there. I can take photos of the fun people in their costumes and stuff, and then share it, me as the business, to the our story and catch this audience that is all being active at the same time communally in the our story. So idea for business. Visit in the real world a location with a with an our story happening and add to it. Snap a photo or video and publish it to the our story so that all who are part of it can see your business free advertising. That's completely free. Adding to a uh, story uh, is completely free. Okay, so I'm gonna send this to our story. Everyone could see it. running a little low let me let's take a break and then we'll I'll plug in and charge up a little bit then we'll sh I'll show you these other aspects uh, it's 1145 we'll be back at 1155 we'll look at a little bit more snapchat <laughs> 